one more time ladies and gentlemen welcome back to bsg annual 2019 we're getting ready for harry potter and the goblet of fire and you co -op done by Cathal and rashla runners are you ready welcome back and uh, it should be working now <laughs> so uh I'm going to play the whole run as Harry and Kaito is going to be all the others, but let's get started. So can we get a countdown, please? Three, two, one, go. So, so welcome to uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Uh, actually, the we fifth game that the was released for the PC, but uh, it's based on the uh, fourth movie. Because what everyone knows that is that uh, there were actually uh, they took f two years to uh, make the third uh, movie, so they made also a different PC game, which was Quidditch, Quidditch which we have seen we last year. Um, the good rock. thing about this game is that you can play uh, co-op, which is actually much better Guardian compared to uh, the AI, because Move the, the AI loves the to do. Uh, nothing? Yeah, it loves to do nothing. I'm going to grab a Shoko Frog here out of safety. Because if you, if you die, um, you lose a Shoko Frog. So the Shoko Frogs are basically... Um, Mario's one-ups. Yeah, they are one-ups. And talking about Mario, this game will look a lot like uh, Super Mario 64 or something like that. But we will mention that later. So the first part here, uh, Kaito is going to do the tree here while I grab the uh, Shoko Frog. And even though I'm really far off, I still Stop get the hit from uh, the tree going. Okay, he's going like. to do the second tree. On, just two. because uh, once we get the third tree down, I drop out and he can already pass that tree, which is just a few seconds faster. But mind you, the third tree is really tricky. It just most of the time really doesn't want to cooperate at all. Like, it goes in tiny, tiny, tiny bits. Like, basically, you need to move around a little bit. And I think I can, can yeah, make I that. Can make yeah. that. And then I'm dropping and then out. Now she's dropping out because there's one skip in this uh, level, which I'm going to try to perform. And it's way easier to do that um, single than having two players at the same time. So let's, I'm, I'm just, it's not a really big deal, but I'm going to try to walk past this rock. It's not working. If he's getting Come damaged, on, hit, it might get, push him through. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping that one of the creatures is, is hitting me through this block. Come on. There is like a really small chance of getting pushed through. Yeah. If, uh, this enemy is basically... Um, okay, yes, I got you're through. through. <laughs> Don't, don't drop in yet, because no? if she will drop in now, she's still stuck up behind the rock, and then we have issues. Yeah, and but as soon as that next cutscene plays, I get spawned on this side of yeah. the rock, so I can drop back in. And basically, we need now all three players again, because we all three of us need uh, to be co-op, and now we're basically waiting for the AI. This is the AI just in play. Yeah. Like, Ross just walked off screen again. Ah, there he Th is. There he is. And, yeah, this is uh, the AI. AI uh, the game. Yeah. So, um, I really enjoyed this uh, level when I was a child because it was, for me, the first level outside Hogwarts. So, that's why I really enjoyed it. You actually enjoyed it? Yeah, for some reason. Huh. So here I'm just messing through the menu because that way everything is going faster. Oh, uh, split notes is not working. Uh, we are going to do this um, out of our head now, escape. Yes. Because with escape Wonder we can skip some cutscenes, which is you? really useful. This is where you learn how to defend. And I don't yourselves. know why split notes Get to it. decided not to work, but mm. uh, we, 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 we know most of the stuff. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Basically, we've practiced multiple times. Make sure you pick up the blue beans. Like the most funny part is like the first few times that we practiced this uh, she was sitting in the south of the Netherlands and I was sitting kind of close to the north of the Netherlands 
So um, we used a program that we could still practice this co-op. Why don't you try? Casting because normally the it's only local co-op. And this is actually a really interesting feature because you need to use a charm on it, which can only be done co-op. Uh, the first time when we did that, we were just killing it over and over, and it respawned, and we didn't know what to do. So we get now a kind of tutorial about um, all the. Uh, you can summon rewards that other are special uh, rewards Maxio. in this game. The blue ones gives us uh, Magicus uh, Extremos, like and the other energy. pumpkin pasties are giving us uh, extra health. Yes. What Magicus Extremos does mostly, it, is ju it just amplifies your damage while in battle. So yeah, but you're going to see it in the next yeah. level. Cutscene. Like we we don't we, we have spent way much time on um, the technical issues, so um, we're not going to watch the cutscenes at all. <laughs> well, we have if some cutscenes, but I suggest you start like the really animated uh, cutscenes, we are just going to skip. It tells us most of the story. If you don't know the story, um, Harry needs to join the Triwizard uh, Tournament. Fire's out. You need to use aqua oh yeah, and this is uh, fire. <laughs> and fire hurts for some reason. And I don't know if it works for sure, but I always feel like if I shake around my... Uh, Your thumbstick. My thumbstick of the controller. Then um, it's going a little bit faster. Also, you may have noticed there's no actual way to aim your spells. It's mostly just walking in that general direction and hoping for the best. Yep, that's that, that's how this game works. Just hope. And these are fights that you need to do with two people. Yeah. And now we get the third level of fires, which are three person fires. You're stuck in a nice position there. Yeah, yeah. nice position so. indeed. Because I was going for the Shoko Park before it got into the fire. Perfect. So, um, now we're going to see the power of Magicus Extremos. Okay, like we need. I, I'm holding it up, yeah. Basically, it uh, insta-kills these creatures, which is just a little bit faster. And when we've killed them all, we can go to outside because there's more than only inside. We also go outside. So I'm grabbing more blue beans because we need to have a full bar again at some point, but we will be fine for that. Yeah, so only the blue beans actually restore your magicus extremos. All the other beans are just additional. I was hoping you'd remember. So, uh, these are salamander fires, and you need to put them out before you um, actually kill the creatures, because otherwise it will respawn a creature the whole time. But and the funny thing is that the creatures can also reignite the flames as well. Uh, later, yeah. yeah. At this moment they can't, because this is the tutorial, and they want us to uh, have an easy time. <laughs> For now. So here we are hoping for one again. We have no clue where he is at this point. Probably just drinking a cup uh, of tea th somewhere. There was one. I, but there's hey! one. Hey, well, <laughs> decided to join. And now we don't need one, so he can take care of a fire that we don't need, basically. Yeah. So eight Shoko Fox, that should be enough because if we lose half the Shoko Fox, it's basically a game over. Okay, that creature is there. No. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I got the same thing. Okay. No, no. Okay, one is taking care of the creature, kinda. Okay. So and now we are going to collect our first shields. We need. Uh, 26 shields to finish uh, the game out of 28 and I mentioned before like it's going to look like Super Mario 64 because we now get to select certain levels to collect certain shields and we have a route for it um, 
where we get basically the fast ones. Uh, also something to mention is that you see most of the time, uh, well actually all the time, uh, Kaetil dropping in after I started the level because that's a little bit, oh, because that's a little bit faster than that she would select it as well in the menu. So here we are going to try to use two blocks. That one looks perfectly, actually. Yeah, it does look good. Normally you use three blocks to create stairs, but if you're really handy with those blocks, you can actually only use two. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going for the third block. Yep. So the block was just a little bit too far. Like, who did I, I hit myself? You hit yourself. Get Run, no, please. Run, get off. Run. Shit, I'm walking down here. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Okay. And there we go, we go. <laughs> nope, that one is never going to work. So block physics are a thing here. Yeah, and also aiming is a thing. Okay. And actually we could both move the blocks at the same time. But that's uh, going to be awful if you try to move it at the same time. Yeah, so we kind of decided that I do cast the spell, but as soon as the spell is active, I just let go of my keys and let him control it, because else you got two captains on one ship and that just doesn't work. Yeah. So, um, we could do, I believe, already the first chat, the next level, story level, but we are not going to do that because... It's, it doesn't make much sense to do it already, even though we can still collect more shields like um, Mad Eye Moody is saying already. <clears throat> so, um, actually, normally you're supposed first to go left here and get the big block upstairs. That one's in the way. But if you walk perfectly, uh, you can basically get the block already. And that uh, at least saves some time. We, you normally don't really have to do that fire, but because Ron... Oh, shit. Because Ron is stupid, he keeps walking into it. Um, oh, come on. Aiming. Yeah. Aiming in this Ron. game is uh, strange. And one was now too far away, and we need three... <laughs> one... Okay, let's just wait for one to get a little bit closer. Co there you go. Because if you are too far away, the spell cuts off, and then you don't have three people anymore. So that's kind of really slow. So, um, we are still not done in this level. We have two more shields to collect until we continue to a new level. So, we're going back to... Uh, yeah, basically the part you need to be run in this yeah, one. I'm going to be run for the first time in this run. Uh, mostly yeah. because at the end he spawns the closest to the end shield. Yeah. So, it's a bit faster. Well, yeah, it's, it saves like one or two seconds, but it are three seconds, basically. Yeah. So here we are really going to co up the cold ones of meshing the, the walls like she takes care of that wall, I take care of the next wall already. I'm gonna see if I can make this. No, I can't. The fire's in the way. I'll just run. Yeah, just run. <laughs> and we just take care of damage of the fire because it's way fa faster to just take the damage than to um, than to actually uh, wait for them or so here we need to smash some blocks um, it's going to we can s we can destroy two of the fires with a cold one which is uh <laughs> Okay, now we need to turn, put out this fire before yeah. we kill. I'll focus on the creature okay. to stun it. Oh uh, boy. Okay, it's it's done. And now we need to see if there's another creature. Oh, yeah. No. Nope. And now the most stupid uh, pillar of destroying uh, the hitboxes of the uh, gates around it are. 
really strange. Yeah. And as you can see, um, it's hard to see where you actually are aiming. Or you just miss it completely. Like, the controls of this game, like, I think... Cl clunky is another estimate. Yeah, it's really <laughs> clunky. And I wouldn't play this at all at keyboard. About at least... I will play some levels on uh, on keyboards. But uh, we will get to that later. Yeah, I actually... Well prefer keyboard is a big thing to say because for me it doesn't really matter whether I play on controller or keyboard they're clunky anyway so so this is basically one of the also one of the big uh, shields to collect where it's actually better to have um, Kaito sitting next to me except instead of the AI well thank you because <laughs> the AI yeah they just like to mash up a lot in here and you can lose a lot of time because of it so i really enjoy it that you're actually sitting next to me yay <laughs> i'm better than the ai that's the most important thing so this uh, is uh this next coming the upcoming shield is basically um one of the shield that we don't get in the intended way yeah, it's like about one of the only skips we use in the entire run. But yeah, we we have basically three of them and we failed one of them. Like walking past the rock. Um, well, this one. Because okay. um, Why don't normally you they want you to get uh, the fire... To get rid of the fire first and then put I up I don't think it's close enough, but uh, I'll try. It is. Yeah. Perfect. So she will stand there and now we will place this block with, with block physics um, on there. It's going really slow, but it's getting there. And but I think this is perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. So all she now needs to do is not walk off. I'm trying. <laughs> it was really close. I know. Let's just try to not get stuck as well. Okay. <clears throat> and now we are done with for now in uh, the Hogwarts exterior so we are going to the Forbidden Forest which um the first round in the Forbidden Forest always is a bit longer because Maybe. it's still the the story level like yep. you go the first time you go into I can't drop in for some reason the first time you go into a level it generally is the story mission first yeah that's ever okay, that's okay good enough good enough <laughs> <laughs> like um yeah i call the i, I don't actually i don't know what the name of these plants are actually but i call them bowling balls because i call i this feels a little bit like bowling and wow first try Ooh, i well never done. get that <laughs> normally uh drop out Oh, no, I don't want to end the level. <laughs> so, basically, she's now dropping out because um, there are coming a lot of enemies. And... Um, they can block your way. They can block your way. And if one of the two is blocked, then the one who's the furthest away can't move on. Because it doesn't have a split screen. Uh, you just play it on one uh, screen, basically. And that's also coming uh, kind of a skip if you are fast enough. Like, uh, you see there's a fire, there's a dragon who spits fire. Wow, does dragon, do dragons do that? Uh, basically, he will make multiple walls of fire. And if I'm fast enough, I can basically uh, skip almost every wall. Besides this one, this one he has to put down and then... All the others, he can, if the skips work, just run past before they even spawn. Oh god, um, this, is, this is going to be close. You made it. I made it. Ah. As you can see, I just ran past um, those fires. There was another firewall there, I believe. And you see all those um, rewards there. Don't go there, because otherwise there will be a firewall behind you. Isn't this game fun? It tries to kill you in every way. Oh. 
Aether will drop in again. Yes. But I try to ball with... Yeah. Uh, he balls and I just defend him. Uh, uh, no. It were a few. Like, it's really tricky for some reason. And that one... That one him. hit perfect. Yeah. So here we have another stupid tree which doesn't work want to work most of the time. I don't think that's... no. Come on. The bowling ball is in your way. Yeah, my bowling ball. Yeah, ah, finally. Perfect. Like, sometimes Harry has the strength of a child and sometimes he's just like the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> so here's another thing. That dragon is gonna create another fire in front of that gate, but they kind of forgot that you can actually just walk around the fire. You don't have to put it out at all. Just walk by and you're done. Yeah, the one who made this level really made a mistake on putting this here. <laughs> <laughs> you can just walk past it and... It looks really intimidating, but it yeah. is uh, really not. You get some of the re rewards because you're really low level. Yeah. You see me holding up my wand with like the purple glowy thing, that's Axio, Accio, um, and it just draws everything towards you. Yeah, and if you walk perfectly, and I would walk in front of Kaeto at this point. Okay, we were fast enough. Yep. Hey, the creature's on fire, I love that. I have no clue how that works, but I, l I like this. So this is a Scrooge. It's a really annoying creature, which is also really annoying to do it on your own. But we will get to that. Uh, Come on. Oh, uh, I need to walk. In a bit back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you got stuck basically on the other. Um, if you do it alone, then Magicus Extremos really helps uh, a lot. But if you are alone, then it, the, the difference is just... It's just really massive. It's um, it's interesting. Escape. So we are going back to the forest, and we are going to fight another one of those uh, screws. So don't drop in yet. No, I know, I know. Yeah. He has to walk back first, and there are the, the larger creatures, like the things that look like dogs. Um, but because there are a few larger there, once again, I could get stuck. So I drop in once he has passed them. Because see, there. And both of us getting stuck would be fairly inconvenient. Yeah, that would be very slow. <laughs> so that's why I had in my notes, which we can't see at the moment, uh, really big written down, uh, don't drop in. In full caps. <laughs> yes, in full caps, basically. So I will drop back in once he has passed this part and he will start bowling again and once again I'll drop back in in order to defend him so he can focus on that. Yeah, so basically she will drop in now. Yeah, about now. I wanted her to be on top of that ledge. She's way behind. And I start bowling and... I'm getting good in bowling. I'm. F I think uh, does Fenway have a bowling center? Because I should go for bowling. I'm. <laughs> I, I'm only hitting strikes at the moment. Like normally, we waste a lot of time on just the bowling parts. Yeah. So th this is the creature from. Oh, I just ran into it, but. Uh, just it get, get, I didn't get here, take get damage. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. It's. Uh, going decently uh, this run. So now I'm going to take uh, the keyboards. He has to do uh, the first task. For yep. those of you who are familiar with the story, it's uh, the dragon task. He summons his broom, has to fly away from the dragon all around Hogwarts. Um, when you do this task perfectly, you get three shields. That's gold. If you do it semi-good, you get two shields silver. And if you do it poorly, you get one shield bronze. So we are obviously aiming for gold, because it's three shields. Um, so you see the bean circles and you see the blue circles. The bean circles are actually the circles that give you points. The blue circles are the circles that make you go faster. Uh, technically, you would say, it's a speed run, why don't you take the blue circles? Uh, but they make you go so fast, you miss the beans. And because you miss the beans, you are unable to get gold. 
Okay, so you could go back into another level and just get a shield there, but that takes much longer than just taking a few extra seconds here in order to collect the beans. So that's why you see him only collecting the beans and not the blue circles, just to get a perfect score and give us three free shields, basically. Yeah, I believe the blue shield, blue rings also count for um, the amount of rings that you need to collect uh, for getting gold, because the time doesn't really matter. It depends a little bit, like you don't need to be too slow, but if you're just going this speed and basically only go for the beans. As you can see, I picked up here a, a blue ring by accident. Like, I was not going for that at all. Uh, yeah, accidental blue can cause you to miss multiple other rings. So. Yeah, like, if you're really practiced in this game, then you can just pick up every ring and still get gold, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm not that good in this game uh, yet. And this part actually reminds me of uh, flying on the broomstick in Harry Potter 1. And it's also a thing that um, in this game, uh, the flying is reversed. Refer so uh, down is going up and um, up is... Uh, up is down. Up is down, yeah. And uh, because of I started doing this a lot when I was a child, because yes, I played this game as a child. Don't judge my... Um, childhood please but um, because of that um, I got way better in the reverse flying so I changed it also in uh, Harry Potter 1 and I still do that nowadays you really still do that yes oh it's horrible and that's gold and that's basically free shield so if I do everything correctly we only collect 20 shields from uh, from the levels and the other six um, shields we get from the two tasks in this game. So this is really important part. Don't do the dragon part. <laughs> we, we've had it uh, a few times that while we're doing practice runs, he accidentally selected the dragon task again. And you cannot exit out of that level, which meant we were just sitting there for another three minutes. <laughs> yeah, basically I needed to do it again, <laughs> which... Which is now basically a joke between the two of us. Like, don't select the dragon. Oh. So here... We take turns bashing the wall. Only one of us is to enter the bathroom. If both of us enter the bathroom at the same time, we get a soft lock. And we don't like to soft lock because we've had already too many technical issues at this point. Yeah. So this was uh, probably the. This is the, this is one of the more harder levels compared to the pre previous ones because yeah. um, there are coming uh, creatures called um, Earth. Yeah. And I hate them. And I Kate, like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're cute. <laughs> But mostly it's just also a case of me dropping out and letting him run his way through all those creatures. And basically you can also see at a certain point uh, the pump I'll is... I'll drop out now, okay? No, not, not oh. yet. Well, okay. You still need to Oh yeah, sure. Two. After that one I drop yeah. out, yeah. So Ron is just standing to see how bad we are doing. Oh, and, look. Th and then he gets... The bridge. Um, Look who decides to do something. So for some reason those earthlings um, spawn as soon as you do the bump. But uh, as soon as the bump is in a certain uh, animation, then um, you can actually let go already. And because I'm the one running already, I'm already going towards the part where I need to start running. Because you can control kind of the way where you want to go and as you can see there are just a lot of earthlings and they like to be in your way like the AI is fighting with them at the moment I'm getting one reward okay, so as soon as he reaches another fire pit with salamanders I will drop back in because all the earthlings will stay where they are 
basically. Yeah. That's uh, like the the creatures for some reason in this game are controlled uh, to are set to. Um, So these creatures are the more annoying ones because they can put on the fire again as he is trying okay, to Okay, you do. take the fire? Uh, yeah, I have the fire. Okay, oh. Okay, the fire is out now. He Now we yep, need to stop him it. from <laughs> uh, putting the fire pit on again, which is annoying. But we only have to deal with those only this time. So it's not a really big deal. I think this is actually the last time that we fight, actually killed the salamanders. Yeah, because next salamanders we just leave them be mostly. Yeah. Okay, so here we are gonna lower the bridges first, um, just because it's faster on our way out. And we are here anyway, so that prevents us from having to walk all the way back. Um, actually, the spawns a salamander here after uh, on the way back. So yeah, that, that also. <laughs> and yeah, those are annoying. And, for s and we actually get really good AI because one was doing one of the pitches with us. He was doing <laughs> something for us. <laughs> so um, we get another fight kind of with salamanders. But I will just stun them and Kaeta will go for the egg immediately. Because... Um, the egg is really difficult to hit for some reason, yep. especially on keyboard. So, run, run. Run, please, do something. Please. So, one just needs to... Thank so you. Drop out. Basically, you only need to have all three of them cut to retract them, and that will... Trigger the cutscene. Tr tr trigger the cutscene, and um, drop out, because now it's just basically a run back to the bathroom. And we have explained, I think, already too many times at this part at this point that uh, it's slow to walk so oh, also important to mention is that um, you get a lot of damage here mostly from all the steam and the earthlings and all that and if one of the AI dies it does not cost you any chocolate frogs only if one of the character dies that you're actually playing with so only one of us playing actually saves us chocolate frogs as yeah. well and we just got extra ones because um, most likely because of this level because if you get really stuck in stuff then um, you basically... That was Ron dying. Yeah. Can I do this deathless? Nope. Oh, oh I was so close to deathless. <laughs> deathless bathroom would have been amazing. Ah. But yeah, I just need to walk through here and then collect the shields. Uh, I always forget what the uh, spawn is. So herbology is open already, but um, we are going to do that later because we first are going for some more shields in the bathroom. Bathroom so, blocks it is. Yes, and it's always scary to go past the dragon. Uh, I can assure <laughs> you, because I'm the one doing it. And trust me, it's scary. You don't want to do it. So, here yeah, fir first we need to smash these pipes here. Uh, there is a cauldron for it downstairs, but it's way easier to do it this way. And faster. Keep moving. Yes, I am moving. I'm <laughs> I didn't say it. Harry said that. <laughs> Keep moving. Like yes, sometimes, yes. if you really listen to what the uh, what the characters are saying, it's so. Uh, Strange and wrong. Okay, okay, um, Ron, what are you doing? I don't know, but it looked like a glitch. Mm. So I just needed to make sure that I wouldn't hit Ron at all, which could have been bad. Okay, close enough. Yeah, so the shield is basically on the other side of here, and the most annoying thing that you can do now is dropping the block. And one is not in a really good position at this point. As long as we get it. So I'm hugging here the wall because I'm really scared that it would fall off otherwise. Mm, well placed. So here it's really important not to fall off. 
because as soon as you do Vanguardium Leviosa, basically um, you start uh, going. You just start backwards. walking randomly, yeah. yeah. So next up we are doing a again a level which is really useful that I don't have AI to deal with because um, they will spawn some earthlings and... Um, unless you're fast enough. Unless you're fast enough, yeah. <laughs> and basically because we are working with the two of us we are basically fast because as you can see one is nowhere close to us. Um, but there, there will spawn some earthlings and the AI loves to kill uh, earthlings so they don't want to help you at that point and you really need um, their help for that bridge but yeah it's really convenient and it saves maybe Ron just least, walked into yeah. a fire. Yeah. <laughs> the AI doesn't know what to do most of the time. So yeah, we just do these two bridges. Even normally they don't take that much time. One is doing perfectly nothing. And uh, now we're actually going to a big part of uh, dropping in and dropping out uh, in this level. We've practiced this a lot, so hopefully we can do it without our notes. I think we can. We can. We should be able to. Yeah, we've practiced a few times even here at annual. So we're going back to the bathroom. Uh, basically, we're going to do kind of the same as we did in uh, the story level. But then just a little bit different and a little bit faster just the other way around mostly yeah we don't have to worry about an egg this so time. i am just gonna help with the bridge here and then i'm gonna stay on the lower level so one should be following me yep. yeah perfect ron tends to follow player one so or just a player that needs help probably so at this point kaito is um with as harmony standing Ron, please. Okay. And uh, she will stay downstairs. Downstairs. Hello. Yes, you got it. And as soon as I've done this pump, I will drop out because otherwise I need to walk all the way around. And then she can walk to uh, the next part of this level, which is uh, there. I know. <laughs> and I drop back in because... Um, now he is going to stay below and I am going to clear his path. Yep. Okay. I, this one is always really funny. And then I'm going to drop out. For some reason, the um, item that was in front of the camera just got removed all of the sudden. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay, Ron is really hyped about beans most of the game. <laughs> wow, that was, that, that was a very sarcastic yeah. wow. So Ron is mostly most of the game very hyped about beans, and he ca just can't stop talking about it. And Hermione is yeah, mostly uh, just really you, annoying. Oh yeah, uh, you need to buy cards. Uh, this is going to be awful without notes. Uh, no, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Harry, uh, page up. I know. Let's first see. We nope. don't have uh, enough cards. I'm going to get that Jinx card. Oh. Uh, and then yep. from his page one, I am going to get this Jinx card. Those basically just make your Jinxes stronger. Yeah, and because of the cards, um, in, um, as you would see, uh, one has um, some really has the double double Jinx card. Um, page up. Oh yeah, it's always second page. That yeah. Jinx. Um, and he has plus 40 Jinx power. So one is actually the strongest creature in... Um, creature? Uh, <laughs> Strongest player in the in the game. Poor but soul. I, I call one a creature uh, most of the time. Escape. Okay, so Escape. yeah, I know. So we go into herbology, which means I will play as Ron because we get enemies here, and they are horrible. They are some kind of wasps. They're called mosps, and they just swarm you by crazy. But because Ron has double jinx, it's easier to defend Harry while doing all the charm work. Mm -hmm. 
And ba basically, one is now um, really strong. So basically, every time that we need to fight, she needs to pick one. Okay, he's and gonna grab a mini shield here because this is the only level where we are collecting mini shields. Ten mini shields grant you a large shield, and you basically just run across them in this level, yep. anyways. Oh. And um, also I something we forgot to mention, um, in this game, like the uh, console games of Harry Potter... Um, oh, come on. At least, I, I, I believe all the console games, um, they, they learn their spells through books. And because this was the first game that um, got um, released on all consoles the same game basically mm. they got um out can you preach thank yep. you Come on. like sometimes you're just going too fast yeah so the first three games were different on pc and console and this is the first game where the game is exactly the same on both pc and console so that's why we learned it from books as well yeah and here are those mobs and basically all uh, Kaetil is going to do is um, spam my X button. Yeah, she, she's going to spam uh, the Jinx button, and that way um, we are. Will you stop going on about beans, <laughs> <laughs> That's just this Ron and Hermione bickering for you. It's like an old married couple. It's hilarious. Yeah. And basically, I've also uh, I don't know why I did that. One yeah, it's first. Uh, that, yeah. bowling first. Like uh, they put some bowling here in. The yeah, that should be fine. No, it's oh, too, it's too high. high. So this one is really annoying, and I hear a moth somewhere. Yeah. But it died. That one looks. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Did it. Okay. okay. So we're, fir we're first going. To oh wait, I first want to, to go there to the left, but whatever. Oh, we'll do that later. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. But we are basically going here because of um, two mini shields oh, are shit. here. I'm stuck, kind of. You got it. Yeah. Um, there's here a small shield which you can just get with Axio. Like the small shields, you can. Uh, you can't join. Oh. Uh, so basically, um, you can see the difference between me uh, spinning around with my controller and. When Kaito is uh, doing her part, it, it's... It's slower. It's slower, Also yeah. because Ron, as if I am correct, is mostly just worse at spell casting than Harry and Hermione are. Uh, no, it's, it has nothing to do with that. Yeah, it's, really? Yeah, because um, actually Hermione has, at a certain point, she has a card to speed up... Uh, actually, this spell... Uh, Herbificus. Yeah, Herbificus. Uh, okay. But... Um, as you can see, if you just spin around the controller stick, um, it's going kind of really fast. And yeah, uh, Kaito's doing a really good job on just defending me at this point. Trust me, it's... If you don't have an, uh, another player defending you and you are just stuck with the AI, good luck. Yeah, this level, um, most people will remember of... Um, just rage quitting, probably, because the, to, to finish this level, you need to do something really stupid, and um, yeah, it's not fun at all. So, so there's a screw here, and it's really important to not ignore to ignore him. Yeah, beca yeah. because um, if you kill it, uh, there will spawn another one. There will be fire everywhere. We and fire is bad. Yeah, fire is really bad at this point. So once again, more mosps. I'll be defending. He'll be pulling down bridges. One bridge. Yeah, just one here. Like normally you're supposed to stand somewhere else, but if you just walk perfectly, then you can just get the bridge done and you don't need to do the extra walking. So we're coming close to uh, the part where, um, yeah, I didn't like. Can we get through that? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we can. Yeah. <laughs> so that's shield number seven. Uh, we will collect already nine out of the ten shields in this level. Um, so there are two ways to do this. Um, you can uh, 
just smash the pot and just walk past it. You can also destroy them with a cold one, which is of course slower than just walking. And this is the probably the bo most annoying part. Um, you actually literally get swarmed here. Yeah, it's you, you get swarmed here. So all Kaito will do here is just spam X the whole time while I'm making the path for us because um, it's going to be so annoying this part. Um, I, I call this um, basically a place where um, where there's lots of lava and it's mentioned like not a really happy place. This is like if you would think about a happy place and this then is not the opposite it. of it, this is it. This is basically it. And those red mosps are even stronger than the regular ones. Yeah, and even more faster for my, in my opinion, and they are just annoying. Annoying. I know. I'm following. Yeah. Oh, yeah. as you can see, um, I got hit, and because of that, I can't spell cast. And they, that it's not like oh, you killed them all, so they are gone now forever. No, they keep spawning. They just keep on coming. Yeah, we we can run. I know, I am yeah. running. Uh, I can't walk up. Me neither. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So the camera is also pretty clunky sometimes. So, uh, because it's a story uh, mission, this is the gillywit that Harry needs for the lake. Did you cut the mini No, I'll grab it now. So we are just basically destroying uh, the greenhouse of um, Mrs. Sprout, who is not going to be pleased with it. Uh, she'll never know it was us. <gasps> Maybe she watched this run. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> okay, and now it's basically run for Yala! <laughs> run for the Earthlings. Um, basically, um, at this level they are less annoying because on these stairs they are only spawns one at a time. I'm dead. Uh, I need to spawn X even though I see completely nothing. <laughs> so I'm just. <laughs> What's <laughs> happening? Oh, I'm, there oh, we are. I'm here. There we are. So this is basically the last level where we could die in. Uh, all the other levels are safe enough. And Hermione's fighting the Earthlings. But that doesn't matter too much because we are just going to get the Gillyweed. But we are actually not get the Gillyweed. We just get the big shield which is going to give us... And they're so happy about it. There's no cutscene after no. this, so that was basically the last uh, story mission in a normal level. So now we are just going to collect the the last shields because we know now all the spells. Um, and we're going back to Herbology because there are still many shields to collect there. And the first one was actually one that I think I didn't know about when I was playing this casually like for some reason you wouldn't think that you can just walk past here and that there is a shield in there as you could see Kaito wanted to um yeah, so normally in this area there will be spawning plenty of mosps but for some reason every single time we've played it together there are none whatsoever we are, we are just really fast we are really good speedrunners in this game <laughs> Um, oh yeah, the Herbology Bridges. Oh, I was already no, wondering. No, Herbology Bowling, that's the one that we do. Okay, it's bowling. Yeah. There was just stating HB in the splits and I was like... Yeah, it's or Bridges or... Um, yeah, but Bridges is the next one, so yeah. this is bowling. Oh, well, you can also see it below the splits. Yeah, there's Bridges. Like, even though uh, our notes are not working, we still use the splits to have kind of the route remembered and as you could see there was also spawning a mosp and they are not pleasant so here we are using once again the drop in drop out mechanic okay i pushed her a little bit forward thank um, you i'm here collecting uh the mean the 10th 
Mini shields. Which means there is spawning an extra... A large shield now in the level we can collect. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just chilling here, just spamming a little bit with X and... Uh, I am walking around lowering that bridge and then yeah. as soon as it's lowered I'll drop out so he can continue his way. So Vod just died. And got respawned. There you go. But now we can just uh, collect this really easy shield. Oh wait, I, we did... Uh, we, we, we messed up the order completely. This was bowling, not bridges. Oh, but uh, it's enough. fine. Um, we are going to collect the easiest shields now. So uh, the split won't be accurate because um, if you could press 2. So uh, this is the easiest shield to collect. Basically, all I need to do is farm. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, it was really hard. Frame perfect shield collecting. Um, that's also one of the reasons why we collect um, the 10 mini shields in this level. Because the shield just spawns in front of you, where the others, it spawns somewhere else. So bowling now? Yeah, now we're going to go bowling. Really, the order doesn't matter. Matter, matter too, too much, really, but... Yeah, it's just convenient to know where you basically are. So, if, even though we have already Magicus Extremos, or as, uh, as written in one in my, my notes, uh, Magicus Enormous. I don't know why. Uh, we have it stated in the run of in the split notes three times, and three times he wrote it differently. Once it's Magicus Extremos, then Magicus Enormous, and then I don't know how, but you butchered the Extremos once more. Yeah. I've been stung. I've been stung. Oh, oh, poor Ron. So here I'm going for bowling. Just. Oh no, the creature was in the yeah, way. Like, uh, I tried to distract the creatures while he goes bowling. And I'm just trying to to aim for but the plant. Aiming is horrible. That one looks really good. It nice. is really good. I'm really good with bowling today. I don't know what's going on, but bowling um. is just most of the time it's losing us time. Okay, so Herbology Lilies, you will stay in the area on the right where you spawn for a while. And if you stay there too long, mosps will spawn. But there's a tiny trick for that. Um, Should I do the trick with uh, the rock? Yeah, you'll do the trick. I'm horrible at aiming. Uh, there, you see this little hole in the in the floor here? That's where the mosps will uh, spawn. Yeah. But if you drop a rock on it, it'll prevent them from spawning. So yeah. this square block here, we need it. We're gonna move it onto the stairs you see in the top of the screen. And that'll grant us access to the lilies up there, which yep. we can grow and climb onto. And I think those lilies are really strange because it shows us that you can open uh, three of them, but um, actually you only need two of them. Yeah, Good. because this already allows you onto the balcony. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lake, and the lake is horrible. I am gonna be doing the lake. Uh, mostly it's just, in the split notes, it states kill many creatures for gold. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna try to kill as many of the creatures swimming around in order to get gold. Um, it is kind of tricky. There is a chance I might get silver instead of gold, so we'll have to do a backup shield. Um, this level will take about seven minutes, so this is a perfect moment for our host to just take it away. You have seven minutes to fill, buddy. <laughs> All right, seven minutes, the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> so first up, we're going to read a couple of donations. We got a, a donation from Pepsi and Chill uh, asking for a petition to ban ROM, <laughs> according to early in the run. Well, to be honest, you can't say warm without one. <laughs> <laughs> and to tie into that, uh, Spoiled Freckle donated five euros, saying co op speedruns should be done more often. You two are fun to watch and great commentary. You got this. Also, as a fellow ginger, stop picking on Ron. It starts with Ron's Ron. <laughs> Funny face. <laughs> All right, then, right. Uh, probably enough things to plug. So let me see. Uh, I'm just going to start at the top of my cheat sheet. 
We are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We are organizing bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. We are currently streaming from our venue and live in Hotel Asteria in Van Rij, the Netherlands. We are raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and high quality of life for those already battling the disease. All your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society. By donating to the charity, you'll be eligible for amazing prizes sponsored by Nintendo Core. Any donation will get you a chance to win one of these prizes and will also give you a three times bigger chance of a grand prize. The prizes are things like I saw rings coming by, I, I thought I said keychains, really amazing things you can win actually. And I also checked their store out at nintendocore.com, not, not .com, .org. And they have some really nice things for your wildest nerd fantasies related to Dragon Ball Z, Zelda, Mario. I'll probably shop, shop myself for myself a little bit later on. And to know what the grand prize is, you can type exclamation point grand prize in chat. So I'll just do it right now real quick. I can't type anyway. <laughs> So, yeah. basically the part where Kaito is um, saying now is basically the part why um, I'm not playing this because a few days ago um, we practiced this and I kept dying in this part. So that's basically the reason why I'm not doing it. Go ahead, host. I thought you earlier said that like the earlier levels were like the last point you, you could die. No, no, yeah. In, in the levels it is, but in the challenges, no. I wish it was... <laughs> All right, so I also kind of want to thank ESA for supporting the event and allowing us to stream on their channel. Really amazing of them. And you can consider you know, using your free monthly Twitch Prime subscription right here on the ESA channel. You get access to both ESA and BSG emotes. And you get support for both events. And last but not least, to stay tuned with our events, you can follow our Twitter and, since recently, our Instagram under the handle BSG Marathon. Get a behind the scenes look of the event, stay up to date with the latest news of our marathon events and more. I've taken a look and there are some quite interesting pictures on there. And of course, always notifications when what runs are happening. So, how do you two think the run is going so far? Um, the run is actually going uh, pretty well, like I have my splits open and at this point we are close to 3 minutes uh, ahead of our PB, so um, it's looking really good. Um, so, so this is going to be PB hype? Uh, yeah, unless I die and I've unless only got 40 health left, so it is still a very, very possible but that I do die. Basi ba ba basically, it. if you die, um, you get sent back to... Um, a checkpoint because all these challenges have checkpoints, uh, which is the moment that you have um, a little cutscene, which will basically start now. This is one okay. of the cutscenes, so this is. is Do one you of think the it would be wise to die just in case, really mm. soon after this one, or should I just no, go for No, because it? Um, at this point you don't see too many creatures, so you're already mm. really far in the moment that you see the first creature, like. I think they can only hit you maybe once, maybe two. Like there's one creature over there. Um, yeah, and only the ones at the, like the, the Pegasus statues. Those can be a yeah. bit annoying. And uh, there's some gillyweed which makes it going faster, but it's uh, basically you can't. Um, <laughs> well, you avoided that. I one. avoided that's that one by that, swimming that, behind that, a pillar. Woo! That, that, that's actually oh, really oh, good. Well. Uh, if it works, it's... Uh, it may look stupid, but if it works, it ain't yeah. stupid. So yeah, f um, like the gillyweed is actually the blue rings in uh, this level, so you go a little bit faster, but you can't control Harry too well. And it's just uh, really annoying. Okay, so this is the last part of the level. Um, I'm mostly just gonna be swimming around like crazy, spamming onto the gillyweed and spamming onto the creatures. Because kill many creatures for gold. And that's exactly what I'm trying. And also something interesting about the controls here, like when you swim, uh, it's reversed, like the same as the dragonfly. So 
uh, up is down and down is up. But in this part, it's actually if you if you press down, you actually go down. So midway during this challenge, you need to switch your mind. It just switches mind. controls. Yeah, it's it's so strange and it doesn't make sense at all why it's this way. But trust me, it are not the worst controls um. Um, in this game which we will see later. The Trust final me. level actually yeah, has the worst uh, controls. Like, th those controls are going to be awful and I will, I will explain it when we get there. So we are now basically really close to the end of the level and it's actually really annoying at this part because we have no clue how many creatures have we killed. Uh, how many do we even need to yeah, get gold? Like, uh. I've even asked in the community of people who actually run this game more often Nobody knows how to kill them and they just go for like, let's just kill as many creatures as possible and pray for gold. Yeah, mostly. And and besides that, it's also not, they, like in the first challenge you can say, well, if you grab all the bean circles, you know you have gold. There is no way of knowing if you've got gold here. Yeah. Like, even if you did your best and you took all the bean circles and... and Okay, be careful at this point, because you are at 20. I know, but I always end this level with 10 health. Yeah, this time with 20. <laughs> Woo! Uh, press space, 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 space. Yeah, I know, just yeah. spam space, but it's not even the cutscene yet. So, yeah, so it's, yeah, but... Gold, gold, please gold. Yes! Yay! <laughs> we got gold! <laughs> so that actually prevents us from having to go back into another level to collect an extra shield, which may cost us two minutes or something. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, Hogwarts spawn. So um, now we are going back in some previous levels where we didn't had um, the the last um, spell. And, yep. and now we have unlocked run. that we can get some uh, three more shields, which are really easy. Oh. Got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we needed Herbificus, like the plant growing spell, in order to get this shield. So that's why we're doing this later and not in the section where we were doing all the shields in this level. I totally remembered the spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Do we have a moment for one uh, very important donation? Yes. yes. <laughs> if you have any uh, donations uh, uh, left. There are two. Um, from bad RNG 82 says, so seven, minute, seven minute gap. Great moment to Keep tell you moving. how great this run is. Keep it up, guys. Hey, thank you. And thank you, Ben RNG. Five euro donation from Anonymous saying, let's have the announcer and speedrunners say Harry Potter in the most British accent possible. Oh, oh. So, uh, you go first. <laughs> oh, good. No, I can't do it. But yeah, go. <laughs> Harry Potter. Okay. Harry Potter uses Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> the swish and <laughs> flick. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> That's not very pronounced. Or what? What was it? Uh, the, the the posh British accent. I don't drop in yet. Nope. Because this is again basically the same as the first crew that we did earlier. Yeah, he's going back through the same path. So there, once again, will spawn creatures that will block him. And I'll just chill around for a bit until he gets where he needs to be. Well, this is the last time that I can go bowling, and so far <laughs> it's going good, so I won't mess up this bigly, probably. <laughs> uh, so yeah, th these are the most useless plants here, actually, because you can just walk past them. Like, I can't imagine that somebody spends time on those plants. That was me when I was a child. I actually did not know there was a top way you could walk, and I had to mow down those plants each and every time. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back in. Uh, uh. Can we walk through? No, we no. can't. <laughs> nope. Uh. Okay, try it again. I was hoping for... Actually, the creatures are not spawning right now. That's strange. That one looks good weird. Yep. As I said, bowling is going surprisingly good today. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so this is yet another screwed, but you need Herbificus once again to reach it, so that's why we're doing it now. 
Yeah, so... So like, we ignore the, the, him. Yeah, so... And um, also important part, uh, there will spawn some mobs is if you are not fast enough. For here. some reason, I'm already doing that one for you. That's really good. And then we there. do for the last time... Uh, oh, wait, one more. See, and um, this is fun. And then we use for the last time Magicus Extremos to uh, kill. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, for uh, if you think, what am I hearing the whole time when he collects his shield? That's basically me pressing the split button. Uh, he has kind of a foot pedal for splitting, so he just stamps the floor whenever we split. <laughs> so, bathroom lilies, we're going back into bathroom once again, Herbivicus. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, What's happening? It's, it's, uh, uh, it's stuck in yeah. loading screen. Basically... Um, Oh, that's rip PB, unfortunately. Probably. Just a quick uh, reboot. I'm trying to actually close off the game, but... Um, come on. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, 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 I just can't find the game at all with my mouse. Nope. Uh <laughs> Because the game basically crashed at this point. <laughs> Why is everything showing up? <laughs> uh, can we go to BSG Borg? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the Borg run of this BSG. <laughs> further and we're good to go <laughs> yeah it should have saved um be after the first crew so it should say 25 shields because this game has out to save so it's not rip run and otherwise we have a different save file for it so press any button and we will still go under estimates <laughs> Oh, uh, load game. See, 25. Perfect. So. Thanks for auto saving. Yeah. Like nothing ever happens, right? Yeah. No, nothing happens. Okay, don't crash this time. Okay. Okay, yay! yay! <laughs> And it's actually a sad part because it's the last time that we will see Kaetil doing something in this run. Uh, uh, we need to do the first pump, I believe. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we do. First pump clears the way and that lets us go to the area where we can use Herbificus for the lilies. <laughs> so, actually we were on our way for... Um, for 114 or something like that, but um, at the moment it's looking more like 117, 118. It's still PB. It's still PB, and we haven't submitted anything yet, so this is basically <laughs> the first one that we finish oh, on, on a stream, so yeah, yay for see. that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> So this is basically the last shield that we are going to collect. So um, now we are basically done. We don't need um, shields for the last level. This is basically the last level, the maze that we needed shields for. So all we um, need to do is now the maze. There are no shields in the maze. It's just running through the level, yep. mostly. Uh, remembering the route. Yeah, remembering the route. Um, I hope I remember it. 
since we don't have split notes, and we usually tend to use the split notes to yeah, memorize the route. Yeah, especially for this part. Because it's a maze, after all. Yeah, it's... it's well, the fr th this uh, level is actually uh, three different parts, and it are exactly three different parts. Um, uh, I think I need yeah. to go through this one and then to the right here. Yeah. Then we have this annoying... You yeah! made it! That tree literally blocked him so many times. It's not even... It's not even real. It's... It's easy. First try every time, right? Okay, so in the next part, um, it's more of like a chase-ish scene. Uh, he has to take the right route because there is one route that has like bushes coming out at him that knock him over. The other route only has spiky bushes he needs to avoid, so and we prefer the spiky bushes. Yeah, it's left, right, mm. left, left right. right. So it's not really hard. So here you're just running behind Harry, um, and nothing like something is chasing us, like it did in the movie. And as you can see, spiky bushes don't walk in them; they hurt. I, I only did that to perform that they actually hurt. So these are the three... The, the bushes, yeah. And, and if you get uh, stuck too many often times, then you will get hit from behind and then you can start running again. Okay, uh, so another left here. Yeah, I, I totally forgot what I did before. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I'm paying attention. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just <laughs> running. Okay. And then we have only Another one more right. right. And then he will reach the part um, where, for some reason, Cedric is stuck in the bushes, like on the wall of it, and he has to fight two screws. I, I really enjoyed that part in the books. Yeah, he, he looks like um, a creature that we know from a certain book. <laughs> um, yeah, like if you go to a church you will also see kind of that's he, he looks like it you will see it pretty soon um but he's a awful puffer so he's amazing <laughs> my beautiful awful puff shirt he's just hanging around there yeah so i'm removing that block because it's going to be really annoying and oh boy so he is basically going to try to lure them into the wall, so they will get dazed for a bit and he can spam spells at their back end. Their front end just repels all the spells. Okay, and perfect. Okay. So Yo. now the other one needs Come to on. run into a wall. Hey, I'm a j just, l just look at me. Just look at how... how Senpai notices oh me. Oh boy. Um, ah, I perfect. Can you uh. get behind him though? Yes, but I'm. I was too far off to probably kill him before he's unstunned. But it will be fine. Okay, right, now I need to get out of my way because that stuff hurts a lot. Okay, okay. he's gonna charge you again, hopefully. Yeah, he will. Okay, perfect. And just end him off. Oh, he fell onto you. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> because most of the times I'm not standing in front of him. Hey, even golds. And now he's going to play on the keyboard again, mostly because the controls in the last Voldemort fight are horrendous, to say yep. the least. Um, basically, um, well, we're going to fight who, must, who has... Uh, he who must not be named. Or as they call it in this game, Voldemort. <laughs> <gasps> How dare you? So, <laughs> we are at a graveyard now at the moment. And first, I want to see some Bible thumbs because... Cedric died. Oh. Harry Potter. And now we have to battle Voldemort, but we are on a graveyard. So, what do we normally see on a graveyard? Hmm. Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> Well, look at that! Spooky, scary skeletons! <laughs> and we just need to destroy them. Like, we can just stand if basically in front of You can uh, basically Voldemort. go give Voldemort a hug, he will do you nothing. 
just spawn skeletons. Yeah, basically we just need to jinx uh, these skeletons here. Uh, there are three stages of this fight. Um, and this is basically the easiest part. Because as I mentioned, uh, we will soon see the most awful controls in the game. Trust me. If, you, if you've played this game before, you know what I'm talking about. But first we need to uh, kill all uh, the spooky scary skeletons or all the jacks, depends on which movie you like the most. So this is the first phase. In the second phase, uh, both their spells will connect like they do in, in the actual books and movies. Hey, spoilers! Oh! <laughs> um, so you just mow down the skeletons with the two connected spells, but those controls are really funny. And afterwards, he will try to throw a statue at you. I'm not sure. The skeletons are... So, now we're just going to chat with Voldemort a little bit. Very intriguing. Is there still a skeleton? I think there's still a skeleton, because else he would have switched to the oh, next there, phase. There, there, there he is. <laughs> okay. Next phase? Yes, next phase. No, he's still spawning yeah, more he, skeletons. He spawned a skeleton. <laughs> Basically, um, as soon as you're done with the skeletons, you have a little chat of for, with uh, Voldemort. And I think this is the... Well, well. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Chilling here with Voldemort. It's fun. <laughs> so, well, welcome to the most awful uh, controls in the game. Like, you need to control Harry and this uh, both uh, at the same time to destroy the skeletons. He's just basically demolishing all these poor people's graves. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, and um, even though there are, like, um, it's kind of a challenge, but um, if you die, you need to start the whole fight over. So I'm always standing here in the back because then it's a little bit easier to control and you're standing a little bit safer. Oh boy. As you can see, this ball has its own will. Yeah, basically. it has a mind of its own. You try to control it, but it just does whatever it pleases. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So I need to kill, I think, a certain amount of skeletons before... Um, oh. I've never had the, these mu <laughs> much trouble with these skeletons. Let's just say this run is the entirety of I've never seen yeah. this before. So I'm grabbing that thing that I never grabbed. So here's the statue. And now I need to make sure that I need to be all the way in the back. Because um, otherwise I um, get hit by the statue. But that statue can't hit you right here. And uh, also time is coming up as soon as the statue is um, destroyed, which... Okay, now the statue is stuck, so now I want with the ball going... Skeletons in your way. Yeah, now it's... Now basically all the skeletons are dead. Okay. I need to get back to my safety spots, and now we just chill here a little bit while Voldemort is trying to hit me. He actually can't hit you, and at a certain spot the statue will get stuck for a bit, and that's the time to attack. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see if I, I can actually okay, destroy it. Okay, that's one wing. Nope, uh, no. it's gonna uh, be another cycle. Yeah, we got another cycle. <laughs> so basically, as a child, I could never beat this level, but... Um, as soon as uh, I found this spot, basically, I uh, it was kind of easy. Oh, okay. okay, it's almost destroyed. Almost, almost, almost. Ah, oh. oh, man! <laughs> I I blame it on the controls <laughs> and probably the crash and the startup issues. Okay, okay, there we go. Come on. Get, get. Come on, Bob. And time. time. <laughs> and that was our 1.1 1 .1 second PB. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, so, and here we see Harry with Cedric, uh, and Voldemort is laughing, but um, they get away. Harry. That's enough, and um, yeah, a little bit of cutscene, but uh, this was Harry Potter 4. Co-op any percent. Uh, later this week, me and Kaito are not going to do co-op, but then we are actually going to race each other in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is going to be on Friday. So that's going to be a really hype race. Uh, like this, today we were nice to each other, then we will be mean to each other. Very mean. And uh, there's a donation incentive for it for dropping McGonagall down the stairs. If you want to see her flying, donate. So uh, th it's really funny, which will be, we will be doing that after that run. So you have plenty of time to do that. But uh, I'm going to give it back uh, to the host for uh, the next one. No matter how convincingly you tell the All right. Thank you, Kato and Reshla, for that amazing run of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We're gonna go into a quick intermission with some ads. We'll see you back in a couple of minutes with Portal 2 Co-op. All main courses presents. <laughs> 